Okay, we're back. So this is the uh, progressive spring uh, compressor for shocks. It works uh, kind of so-so. Let's see if it'll work on this shock. This shock appears to be defective. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten in into it like that. So let's go to the top, and I just use a punch, a drift punch like that. Piece of rod, whatever you got going around will work. You just compress it. Pull the clips up off of it. It's got two split clips in here, like a set of valve springs do. Just go like that. So this compresses your spring, and you go ahead and get the clip out. Which doesn't look like it wants to fall out of here for some reason. There it goes. So they come out like that. That's what they look like. There it goes. Then you just uncompress it like this until it's all the way unsprung. The problem is it usually doesn't unspring all the way, so you wind up pulling out under tension. So it pretty much bottoms out there and you pull this out. Under tension. Perfectly safe. It's pretty, pretty long spring. So you keep the parts still decent. Just in case someone needs one of these down the road. Nobody ever does. But... Nice in my hand, too. I'm getting tired. There's no one to come off. That's about it. Getting hot now. Working too hard. Okay, this spring is way on the long side. Too long to really use. I don't think we're going to have that much room in this shock. We'll see. Now, let's see how we're supposed to compress these ones. It's got to be a way of coming apart. Some way. Well, I know this piece unscrews off of here. It's gonna be some kind of retainer, something, someplace. I don't see it in here, but it's gonna be a retainer. It's not gonna be on this side, obviously, because this is the adjuster side. It's gonna be on this side. So let's see what we can find here. <coughs> Maybe they won't know I screwed with it. All right, let's see what happens here. Yeah, it'll be here all day. Got no 
adjustability in that. I'm going to put something in here as a big spacer. So what are we going to use? Need something real long like that. I'm not sure. Go we'll find something. Be back. Okay, I found like a hundred uh, grade eight washers. Let's see how that works. Problem is, how are you gonna let this up? Now you're not. It's gonna blow off in your face. Red, you got so much you can uncompress it, so it doesn't leave much room. Okay, whatever it is, we just went down. It compressed it. See no clip though. Threads on. Yeah. Threads on. <clears throat> so, see the uh, flat spot in there on the shaft? So this nut here threads onto this. So you have to unscrew that. So you have to have a wrench that goes in and holds that. And then unscrew the this one here where it's got flat spots on it. And you unscrew that off. <clears throat> and then it comes apart. Yeah, I'm not sure that's gonna work because I'm using that to hold it all together, so that's not gonna work. The other thing is that spring is really short. Whatever spring I put in there is twice as long as this one. So, so I don't see these things really going to work at all. Even though I like to use them, they're not going to fly. So I'm just going to hunt for a set of 12 and a half inch shocks with heavy duty springs. So Dynaglot has shocks that have, you can get with extra heavy springs on them. That's probably as close as I'm going to get to what I need. Even though they're going to be big and ugly. Inexpensive. That's what I like to do. Unless somebody's got a set of progressive uh, shocks floating around. And heavy springs in them. Let's see, is that actually installed in there or does it just look like it's installed? And I'm not sure if that's in there all the way. Yeah, it looks like it is. We'll compare it to the other one to make sure. But uh, anyway, these are going back. They're not going to work. Too many uh, obstacles. So I'm going to hunt down, see if I can find something else. Or if somebody's got some 12 and a half inchers, that's what I'm looking for. With about 330 thou diameter springs would be perfect. Or about 8 millimeter. Which would probably be about 320, 315 if I had to guess. So, anyway, that's what I need. Not these. Seven millimeter, no good. So now you know, even though they say they're eight, they're seven. All right, that's it.